constitution what is constitution संविधान क्या है कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन क्या है अभी हम लोग इस बात की चर्चा करेंगे ठीक है ओके कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन को हम लोग कह सकते हैं कि इट इज अ सेट ऑफ रूल्स रिटन और अनरिटन अकॉर्डिंग टू विच the government of a state is formed and administration is run yeah constitution laws ka rules ka ek set hai ye written bhi ho sakta hai unwritten bhi ho sakta hai isi ke base par kisi state ki government कॉन्स्टिट्यूट होती है बनाई जाती है और वो गवर्नमेंट फिर उस टेरिटरी उस स्टेट का एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन चलाती है यहां ये ध्यान देने वाली बात है कि पॉलिटिकल साइंस में इन पॉलिटिकल साइंस इंडिया इज अ स्टेट अ स्टेट हैज फोर एलिमेंट्स टेरिटरी Defined territory, defined population, elected government, and sovereignty, सम्प्रभुता अगर इन elements को हम देखें तो India का एक defined territory है एक defined population है जो इस टेरिटरी में रहता है लोगों के द्वारा पीपल ऑफ इंडिया के द्वारा एक इलेक्टेड गवर्नमेंट है और ये गवर्नमेंट सोवरिन भी है सोवरिन है मतलब एक्सटर्नली सेल्फ डिसीजन मेकिंग पावर रखती है कोई एक्सटर्नल फोर्सेस कोई एक्सटर्नल इंस्टीट्यूशन कोई एक्सटर्नल बॉडी ना तो इसको बनाती है ना इसको कंट्रोल करती है और ना इसको बदल सकती है द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इज इलेक्टेड बाय द पीपल ऑफ इंडिया इट इज कंट्रोल्ड बाय द पीपल ऑफ इंडिया इट इज चेंज्ड बाय द पीपल ऑफ इंडिया नॉट बाय एनी अदर एक्सटर्नल इंस्टीट्यूशन और फोर्सेस सो इट इज सो अगर हम बात करें तो महाराष्ट्र कर्नाटका छत्तीसगढ़ मध्य प्रदेश झारखंड ये सभी स्टेट नहीं हैं पॉलिटिकल साइंस में क्योंकि इनकी गवर्नमेंट सोवरिन नहीं है ये सब प्रोविंसेस हैं ठीक है तो हम लोग वापस आते हैं कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज अ सेट ऑफ लॉज सेट ऑफ रूल्स रिटन और अनरिटन अकॉर्डिंग टू विच द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ अ स्टेट इज फॉर्म and administration is run hum agar apni ncert ki book pe nazar dale to bahut hi acche se isko wahan bhi define kiya gaya hai constitution term ko aur isko define karte hue ek baat kahi gayi hai ki a set of written rules accepted by all people living together in a country सही बात है द सुप्रीम लॉ दैट डिटरमाइंस द रिलेशनशिप एमंग पीपल लिविंग इन दैट टेरिटरी ऑल्सो द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द पीपल एंड द गवर्नमेंट दिस इज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अगर हम कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन टर्म पर थोड़ा गहराई से सोचे तो एक बात पाते हैं क्लास नाइन और क्लास टेन के एनसीईआरटी के लेवल पर अगर हम बात करें तो कि कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन का क्लासिफिकेशन है और यह है दो तरह से हम लोग फिलहाल 
at present for class 9 and 10, we classify constitution in two ways. One is the making of the constitution, the other is the amendment process in the constitution. First, we take making of the constitution. On the basis of making of a constitution, constitution is of two types, written constitution, unwritten constitution. Constitution of India is considered to be a written constitution. It was framed by an institution called the Constituent Assembly of India. The Constituent Assembly of India took two years, 11 months and 18 days to frame the constitution of India. It's in a written form. The second one is unwritten constitution. It is transferred from one generation to the other. Set of rules, but not in written form. The constitution of England is considered to be an unwritten constitution. Now, the second classification is on the basis of amendment. So, first we discuss amendment. In the constitution, we delete, we omit the laws which have become useless, outdated. This is amendment and we follow a process for that. We follow a process for that, a constitutional method follow karke aur hum log jo outdated law ho jata hai, usko constitution se nikal dete hai. This is amendment. Ek aur baat hai. Dusri baat. Wo kya hai bhai? Ki agar hume jarurat padti hai, if required, we add a new law in the constitution. We frame a new law and add it to the constitution. This is also called amendment. Making of a law and adding in the constitution. Okay, because we are increasing number of laws in the constitution, a very fresh law. Okay, and the third is we are not deleting or omitting any law from the constitution. We are not adding any law to the constitution. We are just modifying an existing law in the constitution. Jo constitution mein law already hai, usme thoda sa hum keval idhar udhar karte hai, modification karte hai, badlav karte hai, to isko bhi hume amendment hi kahna hai. Thik hai? Teen baate hui, omitting something from the constitution, adding something new to the constitution, or modifying something existing in the constitution, all three are amendments. But these are to be done with a constitutional method given in the constitution. Jo constitution mein ek method diya hua hai, usko follow karte huye ye karna hota hai. Main teeno ke ek ek example aap logon ke saamne rakhta hoon. I put one example for each of the three things. Adding something new to the constitution. Thik hai? In 2005, right to information was added in the constitution of India. This was new thing added. Now omitted right to property has been suspended as a fundamental right. As a fundamental right, it has been suspended. So this is what omission and uh, we can say modifying something. Example we can give earlier, the voting age in India was 21 years. By 61st amendment in the constitution of India, by 61st amendment, 
in the constitution of india in 1989 a modification was done the voting age was reduced from 21 years to 18 years it was the period of uh, tenure of uh, the prime minister sri rajiv gandhi ji and the voting age was reduced from 21 to 18 years of age so this is modification i hope this is uh, clear to all of you the term amendment now on the basis of amendment constitution is classified into two number one rigid constitution and number two flexible constitution rigid constitution is that constitution in which the process of amendment is tough time taking and complex some of the parts of the constitution of india are of that nature so we can say that the constitution of india is a rigid constitution in some matters for example creation of a new province when chhattisgarh was created after dividing madhya pradesh into two parts the process was not easy it was complex it was time taking and it was tough also now the second is flexible constitution the constitution in which the process of amendment is simple less time taking and easy is called flexible constitution some of the parts of the constitution of india are of that nature only for example when it is required to increase the facilities of the members of the parliament the process is very easy very less time taking very simple this is flexible constitution so the constitution of india is a mixture of rigid and flexible both i hope all of you have understood the term constitution and the classification of constitution on the basis of making of a constitution and on the basis of the process of amendment now we are coming to another important thing and that is and that is the importance of a constitution in a democratic country